Whoa! Woo! Man, got it. Oh, so here I am, taking a good break, laying out on a tarp, and you know, just chilling out. Got to, although I'm such an amateur at this. Probably the only thing scary about this forest right now is the fact that there are bears. <laughs> adventure through this wonderful country of Japan. So we'll be heading over to uh, Fuji and then um, mostly I wanted to get some photos of this forest which has like a very scary reputation. It's uh, called Aokigahara, Aokigahara. and uh, everybody is terrified of this place but I've heard it's really beautiful. And um, it's had some, uh, this kind of stigma is being, his other nickname is the Suicide Forest. A lot of people go to a part of that forest to end their life. Um, hopefully we'll stay away from that. We'll have a guide. So somebody that will take me in and out safely. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. First, we're gonna have to get on the subway that'll take us to uh, Tokyo Station. So, I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get to Tokyo Station. Because from that point, we gotta take a bus. Let me see. Hey, please. Missed the train. Okay.
Okay, here we are in Otomachi. We're gonna go to B10. So we're on our way. Oh. Oh, I love Japanese trains. Very quiet. Otomachi, which is really next to Tokyo Station, but they're all kind of connected together. And it's huge. Literally. You can walk for kilometers in this place. So we gotta go to B10 exit. B10, B10, B10. B10's this way. Alrighty. See this place is huge. Right. We'll get there. Oh. Actually, they've been remodeling and rebuilding this place for years. You can see it's quite beautiful. Although it's very easy to get lost. Very easy. Fortunately, I used to work over here in an investment bank. And uh, so I'm quite familiar with this place. ceiling right there. Alright, here we go. Down this long passageway.
right. I'm all alone. <laughs> There's nobody around me, man. <sighs> and you would think, being in Tokyo, you're never alone. But sometimes, you are alone. Sometimes, <sighs> you're alone. Wow. B10, I'm here. <laughs> Ooh. Man, I made it. Wow, that was a long walk. But still, that's not even the full distance. You can walk forever in that place. Forever. And there's like a whole nother area with just restaurants and shops. It takes a while to get there too. But here we are, <laughs> and we're still not out of the woods. B10 is over here. Wow. Okay, here we go. I would say another little note is don't get a flu shot before you travel. That was a little painful. I'm not feeling the flu, but I'm definitely feeling a little run down. Okay, so I'm waiting here for the bus and we're going to Kawaguchiko. And uh, it's about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, and uh, well, whew, let's see now. You get on the bus, the Paddington bus. All right, college go. Next stop. Well, we made it to Kalgushko. Now we're at the station. Now we need to find a taxi to head over to our cottage. Interesting. You see, it's very beautiful. Sounds like a sick bird. <laughs> that is Japan. Kagyu, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody forgot their Kagyu. Something about good country air, the smell of wood burning and leaves. We finally made it. It's great. I was told that this place opened up in, um, in the summertime. And uh, it looks pretty interesting. Even have barbecues out here. 
get this wood wood burning ah this is good this is a good smell on my wheels for the next couple of days. Oh, things are out. Now I haven't exactly checked out where I am in relation to the lake, but hopefully we might be able to see that. If not, definitely tomorrow when we head over to the forest, if we still got time, I want to see the lake. Place is Story of my life, everybody. Here we are, hungry, just checked into the hotel and then walk over here and we wanted to get out of Tokyo to get away from Tokyo but looks like Tokyo just showed up and now they're all here all of them so much for a vacation so it would seem that after a long exhausted wait of almost over an hour to get into this place the lady comes out and tells us sorry we have no we have no what is it we don't have any warm seats it's getting cold and then she was like and uh we can't tell you when the food will get started and uh so this is so i gave up going back to the hotel I mean, why because in like, I don't know, in about three hours, I'm going to be able to eat barbecue. So if I had to sit here and wait for that, then I would probably eat a burger and then have to run back to the cottage and eat barbecue. So it doesn't make sense. Anyways, we tried. Trying to keep myself busy and got back to the, well, I got back to the, the cottage trying to keep myself busy and so I decided to start a fire I haven't started a fire in a long time so I just wanted to make sure do I know how to do it and look at that I can master fire oh my god and after that I'm gonna get into that big jacuzzi over there and uh, probably you know that's how my night's gonna be all right so the secret here to a good fire is making sure that you have enough spacing, right? And that you have your combustion, that you have your fuel, and you got nice oxygen going in there so that it will properly burn. And a lot of times people will just pile things onto and light it and it will go out simply because you just don't have enough, that the fire needs to breathe. You know what I'm saying? So right now it's got to chew, it's like eating. Needs to eat on that on that big piece of wood there. So we'll let that thing burn for a little bit and come back to it. God, it's cold. It's cold out. Ugh. That was a that was a great night of uh, of sleeping. Although I have to figure out the. Uh, the fireplace fireplace really kicks up some serious heat and then it dies out to about two o'clock in the morning and then it drops down to two degrees which it's two degrees right now Whew. it's pretty cold but I'll tell you what I'm gonna show you guys something in a minute that's gonna blow your mind 
and here it is. Good morning to Fujisan. The beautiful, beautiful, majestic old man right there. All right, I'm gonna go get some breakfast. interesting concept here at this at this place it's a it's a lot about cooking things yourself which I think is nice it gets you back to kind of a basic self-sufficiency and uh, it's kind of nice if you're like other people who burn up stuff and smoke is flying everywhere well then you know hey I guess it's okay too so what I'm gonna do here I've got a little bit of bacon, a little bit of chicken sausage, got some uh, spinach in there, and then they gave me some eggs, and I kind of broke one egg, but uh, they gave me another one, so I, I technically I have like three if I want, but uh, I guess you're going to heat all this up, and then it will, that's your breakfast, you eat it out of a skillet, a skillet breakfast, and how cool is that? A skillet breakfast. And you've got a good view of Fujisan up and off in the distance there. Majestically looking over you as you're having breakfast. And you can say, hey Fujisan, how you doing? Anyways, I'll be back to this in a little bit. Alright? Get going. slowly cooked up the, the spinach and then uh, obviously some uh, the bacon here, getting all that in there. As you can see it looks kind of good. I'm going to put this on the outside so I can actually get some eggs going in there. Yeah, that's what I need to do is figure out how I can get this one egg. There we go. Without getting a broken one in there. And there. That's how you do that. I should start my own uh, cooking course, teach everybody how to do camp style cooking, which is, you know, fire, ingredients, and just the old ingenuity here, man. All right, we'll come back and check this out after it gets cooking. I don't have a spatula either. I might have to figure out how to do all that with just these. This is men. Ingenuity. All right. Talk to you a little bit. Look at that. Look how delicious that is. Piping hot. I put that in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Oh my god. Good thing is, is I get to do it tomorrow morning. Again. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, I'm gonna get back to eating. Okay. Here we are. Going to the forest.
So here we are in Aokigahara, also known as the Suicide Forest, which I think is absolutely a really bad and wrong name for it. It's extremely beautiful and it's large. The guide was just showing us like if you was to fit Disneyland and Disney Sea into the Aokigahara area, it would be just like a little bitty tiny dot on the huge map. This place is so huge. Um, and it's extremely beautiful. And it's got quite a bit of history behind it. Um, some of it is, is kind of scary. Um, but the scary parts, um, we're not going to go and disturb anything today. We're not going to disturb any uh, spirits. We're going to go and just take in the beauty of this forest and um, hopefully get some really good pictures. Um, just kind of looking around. I think it's uh, the light's pretty good. It's coming in through the trees and rays. It's really an awesome uh, kind of lighting source for photos. But here you go. This is what it looks like. And we're heading on our way. Walking along and walking along and then the hell are we gonna do here? That is a big tree. And we've only made it, we've only been, we this is not even one third, right? Yeah. Not a humboon tonight. No. We haven't even gone halfway and I'm already tired. Whew! Boy, I need more exercise, man. More exercise. How are we gonna get through that? Just walk around? No. <laughs> we gotta go under? Yeah. Shit. All right, here we go. Oh, so here I am taking a good break, laying out on a tarp and, you know, just chilling out. Gonna, although I'm such an amateur at this. But anyways, I was talking to the guide and he was saying that if we were to walk around this entire park, right, and that's only in the areas where we can walk, then it would take about a week can you believe that? This is huge. Now, if it was me, it would probably take two weeks, two and a half weeks with a rescue, because I would probably definitely need a rescue. But, wow, just imagine that. Two and a half weeks for me. One week for a professional. It's crazy. By the way, here's the view I'm looking at. Look at that. That's amazing. It's a huge cave.
So here we are. And I've been told we still haven't made it halfway. And we're already like a couple hours into this thing, man. And we haven't even made it halfway. Although I've been told that it's my fault uh, that I've been slowing everything down. So, okay, I'm with you. I got it. Well, I'll pull my weight. I'll make sure that we make it. Uh, uh, can we have some more coffee? Okay, this is a hard party sucker. Yes. Woo. Woo. I'm getting dizzy. Woo. -hoo. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, thank God. That was the hard part for me right there. All right, then. That was all hard. Oh, thank God. That's the hard part, right? No. No. Yes. <laughs> oh. We're heading towards the. the oh, yeah. That was dangerous. We're heading towards the dangerous place. All right. All right here, this is the dangerous part. This is the dangerous part right here. Woo, let me get through this. I don't know if I can get through this. Oh, yoish, yoish. Oh, ah. Oh, did, oh, oh, Wow, okay, all right, that's, that's finished. I wish more people would come here to this part of Aokigahara and instead of trying to go over to the suicide part, the scary part, the part that has the bad name, if you come here and actually look around, you'll be amazed at the beauty. And I recommend that you come here during this time, right, which is uh, November, the end of October, November, to really see the leaves change. And I'm gonna give you the guide's information so when you, oh, you, so when you uh, come on over, hook them up, talk to them, tell them I sent you, and hopefully you'll go a lot faster than, than I did. And I, think, and I think I can navigate this dangerous thing here, which is just go up, use your head, a Thomas Scalio. Use your head, come on down like this, woo. All right, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> how many kilometers was that? Hmm? Don't, how long? How long of a walk was that? Ah, uh, about uh, that's three kilometers. That's it. Yeah. Three Back from that long, wonderful hike in uh, Aokigahara, and now I'm sitting back drinking a nice ice cold brew. Got a fire going over there. And then over here, got two grills running. One's a smoker, the other one is the kind of the barbecue. And here, look at the smoker, we got a bunch of stuff on there. And uh, it seems to be doing okay in there. And then over here, we got the barbecue, we got the rice on the back. The meats and everything in there is delicious man it's all getting getting done right here and this is how this is how to live man fuji style all right here we are going into the onsen this is uh oh, it's not bad i'll show you in a second 
Um, so this is a Japanese typical onsen style. It's your changing area, right? all your towels. And then we have the shower area. Make sure nobody's in there. Oh, yeah. At the whole shower area. All right. It's 40, 40 degrees. Looking like uh, going to be checking out here in about 14 minutes. And um, so some of my thoughts about this place. One, um, it's not... It's not a cheap place. Uh, it's really decent. Uh, the, the service is great. Food is amazing. Um, the barbecue, the staff are extremely nice and, and helpful. Um, and, you know, even to a point where they'll help you with $240 worth of whiskey to, you know, pour down your throat, whew, which uh, I probably shouldn't have done. Um, but it, it, the cabins are great. Everything is brand new. Um, you know, the, the wood stove is amazing, heats the place up. Uh, the, there is a, there's kind of a jacuzzi room over there um, with a shower. And uh, I mean, but then you've got a, an onsen that you can go to, which is really great, uh, which is what I did last night. Uh, and, you know, all in all, uh, the beds are kind of interesting. So um, you get this sleeping bag kind of contraption thing that you gotta work through. Uh, the check-in process is a little long. They ask you a lot of questions and they make you sign like a little passport book, which is kind of weird. Um, but, you know, all in all, I would say if you really wanna have just a relaxing, well put together, albeit kind of pricey uh, vacation, then um, this is the place to go, all right? If you're on a budget, um, then no, I, there's a lot of capsule hotels around uh, in uh, the Fuji-Q Highland area and uh, and in that station that's over there. Um, but around this area, uh, and there are some budget uh, options around this area, low cost options. Um, so on the next trip, I'm gonna be going up to Nico, where I'm gonna be staying at a really old, uh, a really old um, inn with, with an onsen. And I believe that that's gonna cost me uh, less than 5,000 yen because of the go-to. So I guess by all the different areas that are really starved for money, um, probably these areas here, because they're still kind of relatively close to Tokyo, are not as starved as maybe the ones that are uh, out in the country. So those are a little bit more uh, in needy, in need of, uh, of money, uh, go-to money as they call it. So anyways, that's what we'll be doing. Today I'm gonna go back and try to revenge, do a revenge on that uh, burger joint. All right, so we came here on the first day, waited an hour, couldn't get in. Wondered what was the fuss about this. It's right here. See that? That is a massive burger. And uh, I don't even know how I'm going to get it in my mouth. But hold on. Oh my God. Ah, that is worth the wait. That's a delicious burger. Of course, you got nice ice cold beer. Oh, this beer was so cold, it had ice floating on the top. Amazing. All right, let me finish this. It's delicious, but unfortunately, don't try to bring a credit card. They don't accept cards. This more and more weird thing. Thank you.